nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen We have just made our second delivery Up here in British Columbia Remember, the first drop was up there in Saskatoon and now we are done unloading here and then uh, we just got to uh, go over to Surrey BC terminal I'm just trying to see which way the GPS wants me to go the guy kind of told me a little bit on how to get back to Highway 1 the best way So I kind of have to follow that. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go this way, I think. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go this way. That's right. In 400 meters, turn right on. George Never Street. been in this oh, area before, you know. So I just gotta try and make sure I know which way I'm going. Anyways, we'll uh, get out of here and then we'll uh, see what else we'll be showing you today. Alrighty guys, we are cruising along still. We delivered our load and uh, that was no problem there. The guy kept his word. He was there on time. Just a few minutes later and after I got there, I was just fixing uh, to clean my mirror there. And as I was doing that, he pulled in got me unloaded my one skid and signed the bill and we got out of there and here we are in the mountains the sun has finally come up well at least it's daylight out there somewhere that's right and here we are just cruising along the highway and just giving her we got about another two hours and 15 minutes worth of driving then we'll be in uh, Surrey, BC at our terminal. Now we'll do our trailer switch. I don't know what's going on up there. We got some flashing lights up there. Uh oh, almost looks like an accident or something. Oh boy. That's not good. We want to see what we got going on, but. Definitely looks like an accident. Wow. Yeah, even a helicopter. Holy smokes. Look at that. Yeah, looks like a jackknife truck or something. Oh, come on, you damn four-wheeler. You had to get in front of me and slow down, right? Of course. Just had to do that. Stupid ass. Four-wheelers sometimes, they don't use their brain, you know. You gotta look at the accident, but yet you gotta cut the truck off and then sl slow right down, eh? That uh, can sometimes get on my nerves, you know. Anyways. I didn't expect that to happen there, but hey. Eh? these people are doing up here way up here they're walking I don't know what's going on up here but oh maybe they got the road closed up here maybe that's why they are trying to find out see what's going on yeah that's probably what it is look at this guys the roads are a little bit icy well I don't know if really icy but it's a little bit snow that's been driven over so many times it's a little snow packed or whatever you want to call it and we just had the last brake check that I know of in BC when we go westbound just look how weird this is you know you start going downhill and it's foggy down there but it's nice and sunny up there you know 
We had a, we had that accident there earlier, and a little bit after that, I saw a pickup truck that was uh, going through the ditch there, and he was laying upside down there in the bottom. So I called the RCMP and let him know about it. They had had a report of a pickup truck there somewhere, but they weren't sure if it was the exact same one. But then I lost uh, my cell signal and wasn't able to talk with them anymore. But that's how it is up here in the mountains, you know. You uh, get good signal for a little while and then you might lose it. But looks like we're going to be going through a little bit of a tunnel here right away. So, uh... We will show you a little bit what it looks like. This is a tunnel where if an avalanche is to come down, it will go right over the highway. And you won't have the problem of uh, the road, be a road being closed, you know? Yeah, that's right. But it's going downhill pretty steep. Gotta be on our brakes pretty much the whole time. My engine brake is not very strong, you know, so I have just finished doing my trailer switch here at the yard in Surrey, BC. That's right. I don't know what's going on up here, but it looks like a bunch of balloons have come loose. Looks like they've had some kind of party up here. Some balloons have gone loose. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it looks like. In three kilometers, oh, turn left on Clover Road, Highway 10. Yeah, so now we get out of Vancouver area. So we're not right downtown Vancouver or anywhere really close to Vancouver, but it's on the edge of Vancouver, you know. So, uh... Now we get the opportunity to get out of here before it's actually rush hour. It's actually uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon central time. But up here in Vancouver area, it's actually only 2 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So that makes it easy for me because, uh, well, the sun will be up quite a bit longer than it would be in Manitoba, right? So I can actually... Uh, We can actually drive quite a bit later. I'm just going to go move into this lane here because it looks like it might be a little tough further down the road to get into this lane because I got to make a left hand turn here in two kilometers. So I uh, figured I may as well just start getting into this lane and that way we're good to go, right? But this is Surrey, BC. That's right. Now, we are on Highway 10. Well, it's not US 10, it's Highway 10. So we, uh, got a few kilometers to go down on this Highway 10 and then, uh, we make our way down to Highway 1 and get back onto the same stretch that we were just on. Yeah, this is kind of what I thought I saw earlier. It's a little... A little heavy traffic on this road today, it looks like, but... That's why I wanted to get into this left lane here, because I kind of thought it might be a little... A little bit hard to get into this left lane once we get further down the road, right? That's what I thought. And up here, it's not really that hilly. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but if you look way up there in the distance, there by the clouds up there, you can actually see the mountains, Rocky Mountains up there a little bit, so. So we are kind of out of the Rocky Mountains, but yeah, of course it's a little hilly up here, but nothing like uh, up there in the mountains, right? Anyways, we'll get back at it. Hopefully they have cleaned up that accident that we saw earlier. Hopefully the road will be back open and hopefully it will be cleared a little bit more too. Hopefully, uh, I put some more gravel and salt down so that way it cleans up the ice that was on the road. Hopefully, that will be the case. Well, 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 guys, we are back in the mountains, it looks like. Or at least starting to get back into it. Let's see if the scale is going to be open. 
almost looks like it but I'm not too sure maybe maybe not I was open coming this way earlier so I guess we'll see if it's open the other way but anyways it looks like the mountains are a little bit better visible today than they were earlier or yesterday so now you get a better view on what it looks like at least that's what I think yeah so we got a scale coming up here so I guess we're going to keep an eye on it and see if it's uh, going to tell us to come in or not, right? That's right. Yeah, I know it was a little slippery earlier there, so that's what the sign says up there. There's a couple of accidents up there too, so we'll see if they have cleaned it up yet. I'm really hoping they have. I really have. I'm really hoping that they have. Well, from what it looks like, they must be open because there is a truck gone in there now, so... It looks like they must be open. I can't quite see the sign just yet. No, to me it looks like they're closed, but it's too far. Can't really tell just yet, but... Yeah, well... We'll see. Uh, to me they look like they're closed, so... I guess that guy just went in there, maybe they just want to scale their load. Because they can probably see it on the screen, yeah, see there it, is, there it is. It says closed. So, that means we can just go by. I guess this oversize or whatever it is up there, they just want to get a weight and see how heavy they are. Make sure they're legal, right? That's from what it looks like. Yeah, he's definitely scaling her up. Alright, I gotta go. We'll be right back. Alright, we are further into the mountains. And it looks like it's starting to get a little slick out here. This is pretty much a little, I think a little further down though. Is where I think, that maybe it is right about in this area. Yeah, I might be right in about this area where, uh, I saw that four-wheeler pickup truck on that side in the ditch, but it was on a straight stretch, but maybe it was right about here, so uh, that means in about another 15-20 minutes, that's where that big truck accident was at earlier, so this is that stretch where uh, it was really slick there for a while, so, and then after that it was good, you know, I didn't... Uh, didn't really see anything there for a while, so... But anyways, the sun is starting to go down. So we will be losing the sunlight here pretty soon. And I just figured I'd show you a little bit of this rough stretch. Wind warning ahead. Yeah, GPS says wind warning ahead. Alright. I guess that could be. I guess there might be a stretch where... The wind sort of comes off the mountain, maybe. But anyways, let's continue on and see what... Uh, well, here it almost starting to look a little bit better with the road already. They must have uh, put some salt and gravel down here earlier. Yeah! I'm really open now. Well, I kind of think that the highway will be open already because uh, otherwise there'll probably be a backup up here already, you know. Pretty sure of that, but anyways, we'll con uh, continue cruising along and see what happens, right? Alrighty, guys, we are done for today. And I really am tired today. I don't know why, but... All these mountains driving, I guess, makes you kind of tired, but, uh... Yeah, we yeah, yeah, had a little bit of a Canadian type of truck stop, asshole. And a couple of spots, that's pretty much all you're gonna get up here. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Not that much parking in here, but at least uh, there is parking. I'm about 60 kilometers north of uh, Kamloops. Berry or some something like that. That's what the town is called. 
Yeah. Very nice little truck stop though. It, uh, uh, you know, nothing fancy in here, but uh, went inside and asked about a shower, and they even have one shower. That's right. One. One shower. That's all I need, right? Well, to uh, my advantage, there wasn't that many trucks in here. Nobody else has taken a shower, so I could get a shower right away. So we got us a good shower. Now we're ready for bed. Yep. I got to uh, get down to Edmonton tomorrow. Do another trailer switch and then uh, try and make our way home. Hopefully we can uh, get home the day after. So on Monday. That will be kind of awesome. Oh, looks like another truck might uh, decide to pull in here. Not sure if he's going to actually spend the night here, but he's pulling in, that's all. It doesn't really matter anyways. There's plenty of parking here yet, so there's another row behind us yet too where they can actually park, so it's not like we can't get parking here, so. But anyways, I don't have anything old, so... Uh, I guess we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So have a good day, everybody. And we'll see you then. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.